Hey everyone, what is up and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle and I am a hairstylist. It's been quite a while since I've posted, probably like two months. I know, no excuses. I just, <laughs> I say this all the time, but I just am so busy. I get carried away with life, just trying to enjoy the summer and I don't know, just haven't picked up the camera in so long, but I felt inspired for this week, so I'm going to do a week in the life of a hairstylist. It is the week before the 4th of July, and where I do work hosts the 4th of July parade, so my area is super busy during this time, and my week is super busy. Everyone wants to get their hair done before the 4th of July, so I totally get it. Um, but with that being said, it is Wednesday. I work Wednesday through Saturday. So I typically work nine to five today on Wednesdays, but I'll be working one to eight instead. I might not finish at eight. I might finish actually a little bit early. We shall see what goes on with my last client, but oh my God, this day today got all like mumble jumbled. Oh my god. And this is just the life of a hairstylist, okay? So I was supposed to work a very long shift today from 10 to 8, but I had a partial highlight in the middle of my day cancel. So I tried to book it and I put it on my Instagram. Nobody took the appointment, so I was like, whatever. I'm just going to move my 10 o'clock to their appointment so that I don't have this huge gap. And then a men's cut booked, so I was like, perfect, I'll just work 12 to 8, like my normal 8-hour shift. Then my men's cut canceled <laughs> last night, so I'm just like, uh, so mumble jumbled, but it's fine. I had the morning to myself, I just relaxed. So I'll be working 1 to like 7.30ish. So not a bad day, not my typical day, so it does feel a little off, but it's gonna be good. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys along with me on a typical week in my life, show you guys all my clients, what I do, I'll try to get all of their before and afters, kind of explain what I'm doing, and yeah, I miss YouTube, I miss doing these, I need to get better, and I will do better. Also, really quick, um, I highlighted my hair. My birthday was in May. I got it done the week before my birthday, so I've already had it for over a month. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It's perfect. It has lightened up a lot. It wasn't this light when I first got it, and I kind of like it. I don't think I want to tone it down again. I think I just want to let it do its thing for the summer, and then once fall comes, then I'll tone it. But yeah. All right. Let's head to the salon. So this is my first client's before. As you can tell, her hair is very light and she does have gray at her roots. So she really wanted to cover those grays and be overall darker. So what I ended up doing was I used permanent for both the roots and the ends. So here I'm mixing up my Redken Chromatics. I used 7N for both the root and the ends, but for the root I used 20 volume to get those grays. And then for the ends, I used 10 volume. I also didn't get an after picture because she didn't really want me to blow dry it. She has natural curls, so I just like diffused it a little, but you couldn't really see the color that well. But it was basically just like a light medium brown. And then my next client is a returning client. She came in for a gloss and cut just to refresh her highlights because the last time we did it was in March. It still looked so good, but we just had to cancel out some of that brassiness until her next highlight appointment. So here I am toning at the sink, and I always use Redken Shades EQ for my toners. I did 9N, 9P, and a little bit of 10GI. And I always try to tell my clients that it's so important to get a gloss in between your highlight appointments just to keep it nice and refreshed, nice and shiny and to make sure your hair doesn't get very brassy in between. And let me tell you, 
This helped her hair so much and I cannot wait to highlight her hair again in a couple of weeks. And then my last client was a family friend. She had been getting her hair done somewhere else but she wanted to come to me essentially to fix her hair. It was just a little bit uneven and as you can see the roots were very stripy so my overall goal was to brighten and blend and to achieve this look she did book for a partial but sometimes in order to fix someone's hair you have to do a little bit more and you have to do what you got to do. Um, I did kind of like in between a partial and a full, but she doesn't have a ton of hair, so I still only charged for a partial. So what we did was my typical highlight technique. In the back, I did a few highlights around the hairline so that when she pulls her hair up in a ponytail, it was nice and bright. And then I left a pocket of depth just for some dimension. And then from the ear up, I did diagonal backs, and when I got to the crown, I did horizontals. And then when I got to the front, as you're seeing now, I just did diagonal backs all the way up to the top. And obviously for this technique as well, I'm using Redken Flash Lift. And each time I mixed up a new bowl, I always, always, always increase my developer. So because her hair was very thin and fragile, I started with 10 and I worked my way up to 25. I didn't want to use 30 on her hair just because of how thin it was, but yeah, always like to keep that in mind. And then once she processed, I toned her roots with 7N and the ends with 9N, 9P, and 9GI. And here was the final result, so much more blended and so much more bright. We both loved it so, so much. All right, guys, I'm out of work. I forgot my vlog camera at work, so I'm going to do it on my phone for now. But I'm at a restaurant waiting for takeout because my mom usually makes dinner tonight, but she's going out with her friends, so me and my stepdad have to figure out something to do. So I'm waiting for our takeout, and it's taking forever. But yeah, today was good showed you guys all of my clients but that's it for today so i will talk to you guys tomorrow good morning it's the next day it's thursday i'm at starbucks really quickly um back on track back on normal hours working 12 to 8 it's 11 12 so i was like gonna hurry and go to starbucks first but it's gonna be a good day i have all of my regulars and don't get me wrong, like I love having new clients, but when it's a day of regulars, it just goes so smoothly. We all like have good conversation and I just know what they want. So it's a better day, but I'm gonna order, so. Hi, can I do a venti iced green tea lemonade with the peach? We don't have any lemonade today. We've been out the last few days. Um, we do have like peach juice, or we can mix it like the mango, dragon fruit base if you like. Can I just do like the peach and the green tea? Yeah, you can do peach green tea. Uh, okay. With the venti. Yeah, venti iced. Anything else? That'll be it. Bye, thank you. Thank you. Um, well, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> Hopefully, that still tastes good, but whatever. But yeah, I'm really excited because I have one of my good friends, Jordan, today. I believe this is our fourth session going later. So I'm super excited. Um, I think the only thing I might not show today is my men's cut. Just because it's like, I do a scissor cut. He's older. Like, we go fast. So it's really nothing crazy. But I will show you guys all my other clients yeah it's gonna be a good day so I'll see you at the salon so my first client of the day is a regular root coverage client and she always gets a glaze and a cut every appointment too so for her roots we use Redken Chromatics 5NN and then I let that process for 35 minutes and then we go to the sink I rinse that out and then I tone her ends with Redken Shades EQ 4N and a little bit of 4NB and this was the end result, so rich and so pretty. 
Then we have my girl Jordan, and I'm so excited for this transformation. So this is her before. The last time I did her hair was back in March, and it still honestly looks so good. But for this appointment, we wanted to go super, super blonde, like as blonde as we could go. So I did my typical foliage technique, and I went in, okay? When I say I went in, I went in with those foils. <laughs> I packed them in. I made her as blonde as we could. And yes, I am resaturating the ends. They are super healthy. She has very thick, healthy hair. So I felt confident with resaturating those ends because ultimately that's what she wanted to be brighter was the ends. So with this foliage technique, I always start in the back and I do two diagonal backs above each other meeting with one horizontal and I just keep doing that pattern up to the top and then when I get to the front two sides I just do diagonal backs all the way up to the top. She did previously have a money piece as well so we got rid of those money pieces unfortunately but I get what she means. Money pieces are very high maintenance and they're a lot of work to keep up with and she was just over them. So what I did was instead of taking out the money piece, I just did my normal diagonal back sectioning. And then where it was super, super blonde, I actually did a few low lights. I didn't show that in this, but for the low light formula, I did 6N and a little little bit of 6g just to add some warmth in there but yes as you can see just taking the diagonal backs all the way up really saturating those roots because her hair grows out so much and so fast so her roots are always super dark and then also making sure to really saturate those ends and when i also take my section and weave I am also doing a little bit of teasing just to give that diffused look at the root and to make sure everything is nice and seamless and blended. And then once she processed, I took her to the sink and I did a root smudge and a glaze. So for the root smudge, I used Redken Shades EQ 6N. And then for the ends, I did 9N, 9V, and like a splash of 9AA. And this was how it ended up turning out. It was so pretty. I also did a little video. I did do a reel, so if you want to go check that out on Instagram, go right ahead. But so pretty and so blonde. And then my last client was just a gloss and blowout. I unfortunately didn't take a before or after. <sighs> I know, I suck. But she's a like redhead, ginger, and she wanted to be a little bit more ginger. So I did 8WG, 7CB, and a little bit of 6AA. And I'm so sad I didn't take an after, but yeah. Hey guys, okay, so it's the next day. It's Friday. I didn't talk to you guys last night just because I finished at 8 o'clock and <laughs> was exhausted. I was like, I just want to go home, eat dinner, and take a shower and go to bed. 
that's all I cared about. As you saw, I ended up not taking a picture of my last client from last night. It was just a gloss, so it was nothing really crazy, but it was still a good day. My friend Jordan's hair came out so good. I was so happy with that, and I was bummed because my men's cut actually didn't show up but he ended up testing positive for covid and i guess tried to email me but it never went through but it's okay it was just a men's cut <laughs> so i had like a little break in my day but yeah so it's friday i have another fully booked day and then after work me and the girls are going out to dinner for one of my co-workers birthdays so that'll be fun. I might show some of that, we'll see. But right now it is 7.47. I have to leave at 8.30 to get to work for nine. So I'm just going to do my makeup. I washed my hair yesterday, finally. And I think I'm just gonna straighten it for today and then tomorrow curl it because I have a graduation party tomorrow night, so. I'm just gonna straighten it pretty much already is straight but just like touch it up a little but yeah i'm gonna get ready and then i'll see you at the salon so for my first client of the day i kid you not this is probably top five of my favorite transformations and you guys are gonna kill me because i didn't film any of the process i think i was just so excited and i was way too into it and I just forgot, but I promise I will explain everything that I did. So this is her before, and what she wanted was like an auburny red color, and I was so excited because I haven't done one of these in so long. But first, I had to cover her grays, so I used Redken Chromatics 4NN with 20 volume, and then I did a full highlight to really brighten up her ends so that the auburn red would be vibrant enough, and then I toned her with 5RV, 6RB, and a little bit of 5V. And this was how it came out. It came out so good. She was so in love with it and it made me so happy. But it's just so vibrant and so pretty and I was obsessed with it. And then my next client is a regular gray coverage client. So I always use Redken Shades EQ 8N and 7NA with 20 volume and I didn't take an after but we just did the gray coverage. And then my next client came in for a gloss and cut. She just had some unwanted warmth in her hair. So I toned her with Redken Shades EQ 3N and 4M. And this was how it came out. Super shiny and super pretty. Good morning. <laughs> I'm so tired. But it's the next day. Saturday, last day of this work week. I'm so tired. But I again left my camera at the salon last night. Um so didn't really update you guys on yesterday, but it went good. I didn't really do a whole lot of actually filming what I was doing. <laughs> and I'm sorry for that. I just feel like other than my first client, all of my clients were pretty easy, like just a root color, toners, and like a blowout at the end of my day. My first client was so much fun and it came out so good. I kind of wish I filmed more of it, but it's just hard being like, can I film you while I do your hair? <laughs> she probably wouldn't have cared, but I don't know. Some clients are just like iffy about asking, but anyways. So it's Saturday. I have two full highlights and then I'm leaving early because I have my boyfriend's brother's graduation party tonight. So I'm going to be leaving a little bit early, but I will most certainly record my first client because she's my boyfriend's cousin's fiance, so she won't care. And then I don't think my next client will care either. She's a regular, but we'll see. But yeah, um, me and the girls from work went out last night. It was so much fun. We went out to dinner and then we came back to the salon because that's where all of our cars were. And yeah, I think that's just why I'm so tired. But we're going to push through it. We're going to have a good day. 
and it is 8.50 and she's coming at 9 so I gotta go into the salon. I'll talk to you guys in a little. So this is my first client of the day. We had done her balayage back in February and I only did a hand painted balayage because it was her first time ever getting her hair highlighted so I wanted to just do something subtle and natural but now that it's been a while since we last did that she wanted to be a lot blonder for the summer and that is what we did. So instead of doing a hand painted balayage like I did last session, I'm doing my typical TZ light foliage technique and this will make her feel a lot more blonde and a lot brighter. So again, doing my typical technique of diagonal backs all the way up the front for the sides and then in the back again, I did my diagonal backs two meeting to a horizontal and I just did that pattern all the way up and again like I said doing my little bit of teasing because her natural hair color is actually really light so I don't ever have to do a root mel, a root shadow, or a root tap on her because her hair always just blends so well so with that little bit of tease to diffuse the root I don't have to do any root melting and it's perfect. So after I finished foiling I let her process and then we went to the sink and I toned her ends with 9N, 9P, and a little bit of 9NB and this is how it turned out. So much brighter and so pretty she was in love with it. And then my next full highlight client was also a returning client. The last time I did her highlights was over six months ago, so super grown out and faded. We did something very subtle the first time, but again, she wants to be super light for summer. So I did my typical foliage technique, and this was how it turned out. So pretty, like one of my favorite bronze sort of moments. And I ended up toning her with Redken Shade DQ 8N. 8GI and 7V and it came out perfect. Hey guys, <laughs> so I never finished off this vlog. It is Sunday, but yesterday was really good. I had the two highlights that I showed you. They both came out so good. And then I literally just rushed out of work because I had to head to my boyfriend's brother's graduation party. But yeah, it was a super good week. I tried to show as much as I could. It felt good to be back and like somewhat filming. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this little week in my life. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe for more. And also comment down below what you guys are wanting to see more of so that I know what to post for you guys. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Say hi, Stella. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.